So let's take a look at lesson 2.4, the percent equation. We're going to be on pages 129 through 136. And the percent equation is part equals n times w, part or p equals percent times w. So in example one, we have what number? is 12% of 150. So let's see if we can figure out what goes where. The what number is going to be the part, 12% is going to be our percent, and 150 is going to be our whole. So I'm going to start off by rewriting the percent equation. Part equals number times the whole. So I don't know what the part is, but I do know what my percent is, and I do know what my whole is. Now one of the things I want to do is to convert my percent to a decimal. So at this point, I just want to multiply 0 0.12 times 150 to find the part. So I can say that 18 is 12% of 150. In example two on page 131, we're trying to find out what percent 21 is of 40. So I'm going to start with my percent equation, which is P equals N times W, P being the part, N being the percent, and W being the whole. Now in my problem, I'm going to identify each of those pieces. So 21 is the part, what percent, which I don't know, is going to be my n, and my whole is going to be 40. So what I'll do is I'll substitute my known quantities. So my part is 21, and that's going to equal my unknown quantity, which is the percent, times 40. So I'm going to divide both sides by 40, which is the coefficient of n, and 40n divided by 40 will just be n, and 21 divided by 40 is going to be 0 0.5 to five. So in this problem, since I'm looking for a percent, I can say that 0 0.525 is equal to 52.5%.
Well, now why don't you pause here and work on problems E and F on page 131. In example three, this is saying 13 is 26% of what number? I'm gonna start off, once again, rewriting my percent equation, P, which is the part, equals N, the percent, times W, the whole. So in my problem, my part is 13, my percent is 26%, and my whole, which I don't know, is going to be W. So then I just need to rewrite my equation, substituting what I know for P and N. And since I already know what N is, I don't have to write N. I'm gonna rewrite it as 13 equals 26% times W. And since I'm dealing with a percent, I want to convert this to a decimal. So I have to think about what is 20%, 26% as a decimal. So I can take 26, divide it by 100, and that'll get me 0 0.26. So the last step in this problem is to divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of w, which is 0 0.26. 0 0.26w divided by 0 0.26 is just going to be 1w. And now I'm going to take 13 and I'm going to divide it by 0 0.26. So, 13 is 26% of 50. Why don't you pause here and try problems G and H on page 131 before moving on. In example four on page 132, what I want to be able to do is to pick out the percent, the part, and the whole in all of these words. Well, the percent's easy. It's 25%. Now, the number 3,264 is the part because those are the people that said that they only use a cell phone. What we want to find out is how many people in total were surveyed. So that's going to be my W. So I'll start off with the percent equation. Part equals N times W. And then I'm going to substitute what I know uh, is my part. What I know is my percent. And then I just need to figure out what my whole is going to be.
What I need to do is divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of w, which is 0 0.25. 0 0.25w divided by 0 0.25 is going to be w. And then 3,264 divided by 0 0.25 is going to be 13,056. So your assignment to be completed by the beginning of the next class period is on page 133, and it's problems 2, 4, 6, 7, and 8. And make sure you like and subscribe to this channel for more math tutorials.